In this video, I'm going to answer the question, are computers taking accounting jobs? This is a question I get a lot. Are computers taking accounting jobs? And when I get this question, I always chuckle to myself because <laughs> it's something that I never worry about. But I realize there's a lot of people out there who think about this, and so I wanted to share with you my perspective. So the short answer is yes, computers are taking accounting jobs. But the flip side of this is it's not something you need to worry about. So what's happening is computers are always advancing, technology is always advancing, and in accounting, they're automating more of accountants' work and doing more work for accountants. But at the same time, the role of the accountant is also advancing and also changing and developing. And it seems like every year, accounts are expected to do more and more work. So I don't see the workload of accountants decreasing, even though computers keep becoming more and more advanced. So we have to look at this from a historical perspective, because it wasn't that long ago that companies didn't use computers. And what happened back then is that before computers, companies had large rooms just full of accountants. And what these accountants would do is they would sit at their desk with ledger books. And so they'd have a pen and pieces of paper, and every time a transaction would happen, they would write it in these books. And so every time a company would buy something, every time a company sold something, it would have to be recorded by hand. And then somebody would go around and gather up all of these books, total them all up, and that would be used to create the financial statements. Well then, computers come along, right, and revolutionize everything. It made all of these accounting jobs obsolete. Because computers can do things automatically. So every time a transaction happened, it's instantly recorded. And so you don't need this room full of accountants anymore. So this really happened in the 80s and 90s when all of these computers started to be used, to be used in companies. So here we are today in 2017 and we have more accountants than ever before. <laughs> so what happened? You know, all these jobs disappeared, but accountants, the role of the accountant changed as well. And accountants do so much more than they used to do back then. So I want to think a little bit on a bigger scale what's happening here. You know, there are business owners all around the world. And these business owners own companies. And all of these companies need accountants. They need a physical person sitting inside the company watching the money. So I don't care how advanced your computer system is, you need a physical person in there watching the money. And if you don't have one, you're just asking for trouble. <laughs> so not only do you need this accounting, this accounting person, you need a second accountant outside the company who's able to come in and audit the first accountant to make sure that they're doing their job. Not only that, you need a third accountant. You need a third accountant who's able to come in and do the, all the other accountants' taxes. And so it doesn't matter how advanced your computer system is, you still need all of these accountants. When I think about this question, I actually don't think it's about computers. I think computers are just a scapegoat. There's something to blame. But what this question is really asking about is job security. Job security is something that's really important to accountants. It's some, uh, you know, people who go into accounting tend to be very practical people. And so job security is a value that they care a lot about. And so whenever anything threatens job security, accountants freak out. <laughs> and so I want to talk a little bit about job security. So the first point I want to make is that there is no such thing as 100% job security. Sometimes life just happens and there's things you can't prepare for. So your company could unexpectedly go bankrupt and you'd be out of a job. And there's no way you could have uh, known about that in advance. And you know what you do when that happens is you go out and you find another job. 
And <laughs> I'm not making light of being unemployed because I know that it's scary and it's difficult. But, you know, there's no point in worrying about job security when there's things that happen that are completely outside of your control. The second point I want to make is don't choose your career by trying to predict the future. So I see a lot of people trying to do this is they, they really stress about, you know, if I pick the right job, I'm going to have job security for the rest of my career. Well, <laughs> your career is going to be 30 or 40 years long. And so none of us knows what the business world's going to look like 30 or 40 years from now. And if your job becomes obsolete down the road, you're just going to have to go out and find another job. <laughs> That's how it works. So, you know, what you really should be doing is choosing your career based on what you like to do, based on what you're interested in, and based on what someone's willing to pay you to do today. The third point I want to make is never stop learning. So <laughs> if you were to get out of college and you were to get your first job and you had the mindset that, you know, I'm going to do this job exactly the same way for the rest of my career. Well, if that's your perspective, you should worry about job security because the reality is technology is always changing. The business landscape is always evolving. And so you have to evolve too. You have to be constantly learning. You have to constantly be learning new technologies and staying on the cutting edge of your industry so that you can make sure your skills are always in demand. The other thing you need to realize here is that a lot of what you learn in college is going to be obsolete in five years. So even in accounting, accounting standards are always changing every year. So every year they release new standards, um, they revise old standards, and so you have to keep learning and staying on the cutting edge and always be training. The fourth point is that, and this is the big one, <laughs> you always want to be generating tremendous value. So when you're working in your company, always look for how can I generate tremendous amounts of value? And I'll use an example here. So if you're working for a company and let's say they're paying you $100,000 a year. Well, you want to be generating $200,000 a year worth of value for this company. If you do that, that company is never going to let you leave. <laughs> because you're generating so much value for them. You're not going to have to worry about job security. Now, the flip side is, if you're working for a company and you're getting paid $100,000 a year, but you're only generating $50,000 worth of value for the company, then you should be worrying about job security. Um, but really, you know, if you just look around and you're constantly looking for ways where you can add value to your company, you're going to give yourself job security. So I hope my message here is a positive one. You know, the business world is always changing. Technology is always changing and growing. But there's a lot that you can control when it comes to job security. You can always be learning and staying on the cutting edge and making sure that your skills are in demand. And you can always be focused on generating tremendous amounts of value. And if you do those things, which are completely in your control, then even if you happen to lose your job for some unexpected reason, you're going to have an awesome resume for you to go out and find another job. So the bottom line is, don't be scared about job security and don't be scared of computers. If you liked this video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. I release a new video every week on accounting and corporate finance, so come back and check out next week's video.